Hello, I'm Professor Lindsay Kemp from the School of Business at the American University of Ras al Khaimah and I was fortunate enough with my colleague to be able to get a seed grant awarded by the university because I'm very interested in studying women in organisations in the Northern Emirates being based in Ras al Khaimah to find out more about how they engage in organisational space, what they think about their organisational space, because what we're basically looking at is to work on the interpretation of the metaphors and the symbolic meaning of how women engage and relate to the space that they're working in. Because it's important, we spend a lot of time, don't we, working in organisations, so it's useful to find out what that means to the women concerned. Hey, isn't it great to be here, Fatia, and good to see you again. Good to see you. For our audience, of course, we do need to introduce ourselves. So firstly, myself, I'm Professor Lindsay Kemp from the American University of Ras al Khaimah. I'm the director in the School of Business for graduate programs, and I also am a professor of management. How about yourself? Yes, I'm Fatih al Mangawi. I'm assistant professor in the Department of Architecture, School of Engineering, same university, American University of Ras al Khaimah. And we were fortunate, weren't we, in earning a seed grant from the university, which we're very grateful for, in order to research further into our mutual interests of women and organizations in the Northern Emirates of the United Arab Emirates. So, I suppose for the audience, yeah. we need to give them the title of the project. Yeah. Metaphor and symbolic meaning in organizational space, uh, a study of working women in Ras al Khaimah. Yeah. And what we're doing is working um, on the idea that we want to find out how women interact in organizational space, how they use the space, and what to raise the voice of women in how the space is used by them. So it's important, for example, from my background, we're going to be interviewing these women, aren't we? And from your expertise, what else are we going to do in this project? Yes, uh, in parallel with interviews, we want to see the spatial configuration of the space itself and how women talk about these spaces influenced by the architecture of the space, and also how they influenced the space. So we want to draw the space from an architectural point of view, the provision of light, because it's very important aspects in terms of psychology, how it's reflected in their conversation. And also we want to take photos of the space. Like what kind of photos they put? Like, uh, is it personal? Is it, uh, f you know, work for work? Their agenda, their, these kind of things tells, you know, um, something about uh, what they feel in the space and how they reflect their identity, their culture. So, yeah. That's yeah, so we're basically building up a story being yes. told by these women exactly. about the space and we analyse it through the, as we said, the topic, yeah. the symbolism of it, the metaphor, metaphor yeah. of how women are using this space, which is going to be thoroughly interesting yes. and of course it's important because this could influence architectural um, design in the future, mm -hmm. the policies of yes. Uh, the way we look at space that we work in. So um, employers could yeah. be interested exactly. in this yeah. research, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, uh, we should tell them how we became interested in the, this research. So uh, I think you, you started because it's like organizational space and you applied for, yeah, so how you became interested in this? Well, because I've spent a lot of time interviewing women in the United Arab Emirates about their experience of work, because mm -hmm. I'm from a business background, an organizational um, behaviorist, so I'm always interested in, you know, women in the behavior in an organization. Mm -hmm. So that's where my interest was coming from. Yeah. How about yourself? Yeah, um, actually my research background 
is all about women and use of space and my PhD was uh, women's use of public space and um, I, I am also doing a research now and this currently about women's use of public space in Ras al-Khaimah so when I heard about your research and like the proposal and the, uh, applying for the seed grant I said this is the good you know to have like as an extension because uh, workspace is a public space. Mm -hmm. However, unlike other open public space like outdoor or maybe like the mall, women just use it and try to um, uh, accommodate their uh, needs within the space without changing it. Whereas in the working space, they have, you know, some touches they can do, even their behavior different from another uh, kind of public yeah, space. Yeah, so they can express their identity exactly. and that's the sort of thing yes. that we're trying to dig deep to yes, find out and, about, you know, isn't it? Their cultural backgrounds, you know, their sometimes even personal family, you know, I, I sometimes see some uh, worker, women or, you know, workers in general, they put like their uh, family photos, like kids yeah. or grandkids. Or, and that's so where it comes about the meaning, the meaning doesn't it? Exactly. You know, what's the meaning yeah. of their actual yeah. organization? So, or attachment, space. even attachment to the space itself. Like, it's not like we always have this idea that working space is a temporary space. You work from nine to five and go home. But I think women or workers in general carry some things from home to the workspace and from workspace to home. Yeah, So this, space, this is the thing that we want to know. Like, this is the metaphor we want to uh, dig deep in. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. And we also want to add resources and information about this to the um, virtual centre for women in leadership exactly. that myself and other co-investigators have set up, which is full of, well, resources, multimedia resources yeah, that yeah. trainers can use, that women themselves, and it also um, helps with training, personal development, because those resources are available on the Women in Leadership Virtual um, Center, because it adds something to show women's achievement, I think, in this region, which perhaps is a bit of a mystery mm. to others outside yeah. the region. And this is going to be a re uh, like a research database, like were, were you know, researchers who want to know more about women and women's use of space. This uh, website is going to be very, very important. Uh, yeah, and it's source. just yeah, and it's just the start because obviously in the future uh -huh. we want to extend this research Good. to women's um, use of organisational space in the Middle East, yes. North Africa exactly. region. Yeah, MENA region, uh, focusing on the Gulf region because you know there are some similarities and differences. We want to know you know these uh, similarities and differences, and this will help as you mentioned addressing um, the decision makers to focus on women's needs sometimes it's overlooked yeah <laughs> so that's why we do we are doing this research and what we're also going to do is to update as we go through this project with more podcasts and video casts exactly yes <laughs> good to see you yeah, see thank, you again in the future thank you so much yeah good to see you